Hi everyone, welcome to Le Casemois. Bit of a cyclone going on, so we need to make some comfort food. How about a Mauritian chicken door break? Mm -hmm. So we're making chicken door. So you need chicken. <laughs> chicken thighs, in fact. But when I took these out, I noticed that they've already been deboned. Which, while very convenient, I wanted to show you how to debone th chicken thighs. But anyway. You can show us how to take the skin off. The skin's actually really easy because it's uh, not even really attached too much on chicken thighs. I don't know if you want to come around the side, bruh. Only in a few places and at this end. And it just pops off. A little. Good. So we don't need these, but we're going to cook them. Fried chicken skin starter. <laughs> yeah. Washing the chicken. Yeah, just a little rinse. It's not yet to wash your hands off the chicken. <laughs> You wash both. We are just going to chop. Ooh, nice. Thanks, Brad. Sharpen the knife, everyone. Mm -hmm. A nugget there that they left. Uh, so not completely cleared. Mm. So when they come deboned, just check. We want chunky bits. It's about that big. Okay, nice. Big cool. mouthfuls. Yes, nice big mouthfuls. Ooh. And chicken thigh is perfect for this because it's really nice and soft. So we'll just pop that temporarily back in our packet. Ah, potato peeler. Yes, Ryan has his uses. <laughs> Mostly it's just to peel potatoes and carry heavy things and chase away spiders. That's correct. Right, so let's peel the potatoes. This is a very rustic one-pot dish and it's very comfort food and it comes from the French influence. But it's a fully Mauritian dish, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's made in Mauritius, but it definitely has French influences, except the Mauritians added a bit of chili and cinnamon and ginger, and I'm sure the French probably had the garlic. Right. With a bit of a wash. A bit of a wash to uh, chop them. Yeah, and you're going to chop them into nice chunky pieces like the chicken. Okay, well, they're going to be chunky like the chicken. It's a little bit tricky because he's a little bit big, that one. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit small. <laughs> to be uh, chopped in half. Oh, those look great. Oh, <laughs> I just started chopping onions. I didn't know you wanted to record me. Yeah, well, you know. Record everything. Chop some onions. Edit later. Mm -hmm. We're going to start by cooking the onions in that beautiful chicken skin. Ooh. Fat. Ooh, it's going to be yummy. Oh, speaking of which, look how much fat that's released. Wow. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you're fat. You're not supposed to stick. <laughs> you are what greases things. Oh man. Look at it crisping up. So the only other thing we have left to prep is the coriander. Which I find scissors works easier. We're going to cut the stems to put in the daub. We're going to leave the leaves to garnish on top. It's actually a really, really simple dish and it's all done in one pot. One pot cooking is the best, Rick. Yeah, and you could, depending on the size of your pot, do this for a lot of people. Yeah. I think that'll be good. And then you only have to wash one pot when you're finished. <laughs> Apart from all the plates and everything. <laughs> well, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> have a starter. Love my crunchy chicken skins. Cyclone's still going on behind me, but... Uh-huh. <laughs> They're so soft and crunchy. Oh, so yum. They are yum. Oh. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to cook. And with the onion. Onion first. We're going to saute that for about uh, five minutes. See you back in five. <laughs> Those are looking good. So. In with our uh, garlic, ginger, chilies. I have good. dried, but you can have fresh. Give it a bit of a step. Oh man. Oh, oh it smells lovely. I love it when that garlic and that ginger start oh. aromatizing, I think it's called. <laughs> Aromatizing. Aromatizing. <laughs> Then we're going to pop in our whole cinnamon stick. Fried cinnamon stick. Don't worry, that comes out at the end. Okay. So I'd <laughs> accidentally eat it like a piece of chicken. Hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, we'll remember. <laughs> we'll try to. This is time 
again, you can have fresh. <laughs> I have some dried. That's oh. that, that uh, French influence now. Okay, so you've got this really tell. lovely fusion with this cinnamon and ginger going on and chilies with the thyme and the garlic of the French. Oh, that thyme is so mm. strong. Smells incredible. Then we've got some of tomatoes. Oh, that chili. I'm seeing my throat. <laughs> Ow. Super easy, which is what you want when it's windy and icky outside. You should use wine, right? So the French would use wine, uh, but most Mauritians don't. So just substitute with water. But for this amount, it should be like half a cup of wine. Uh, I know this doesn't look like water because the next ingredient coming in is a stock cube, a chicken stock cube. And I thought, well, rather add that to the water. You know. Uh-huh. Beat two stones with one bird. <laughs> yeah. And our coriander stems. Oh, this is lovely. The smell of it is fantastic. Mmm. Okay, then we're going to cook that for probably about five minutes. Um, sugar. <laughs> Just about a teaspoon. But again, entirely depends on the tomatoes you're using. I know these ones are quite sour, so they need it. And then just a little bit more liquid. Waste not. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna cook this for about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut that other bit out. I probably won't. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> okay, this is starting to look great. It's come up to temperature basically. So now we're gonna put in the chicken. The chicken. <laughs> and I know it seems weird to me as well because you're putting raw chicken into boiling water. But this was a recipe that I saw that said Jamie Oliver's Mauritian chicken door. But he's not Mauritian. Shouldn't you ever use a Mauritian one? <laughs> so let me know if this is how you guys do it because it's apparently how Jamie Oliver does it. Raw chicken into the liquid. We shall see. I'm sure it'll be delicious. And then our potatoes as well. And that basically is it, guys. That's going it. To, we should cover this and leave it to cook for about 25 minutes. And you're done. That's way too short to make a video out of, Rick. <laughs> you guys want to wait around. <laughs> we'll stand. We'll wait. We need to get at least another five minutes on this video, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky says we have to have it covered, so I've got a link for it, so I'll put... Uh. <laughs> Our lid doesn't fit. We don't have a lid for this, so... And the other part's got rice in it. So, I've, I've, I've come up with a solution. Okay. I've got another frying pan. Cool. Yeah, that works. That seems to fit. Yeah, covered. Covered. <laughs> and I can cook something on top here. <laughs> double steam cooking. some buns. One pot double cooking. Ooh, can, can you imagine if we had holes, we could actually steam some, some buns. But then you'd need to cover that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and again, uh -huh. lid, lid issues. Lid <laughs> issues, absolutely. A big down. Chicken in. Mmm, that smell of cinnamon. Oh yes, you can actually see the bark there. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, the tomatoes changed colour. Which means it's cooked, but are the potatoes cooked? Um, I'm going to prod one a little. It's getting there, but I think probably another 10 minutes. Another 10 minutes. It's been 20, so yeah. Tell for yourself, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this for another 10 minutes. Mm, but it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to give it a taste test. Oh man, I'm actually excited for this. <laughs> mm. Is it good? Oh, you need to give us a try, bruh. Oh, yes, please. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 
That is good. Oh, there's chili. Mm, there is, but it's Oh, that yum. is really good. I'm actually just going to leave it uh, uncovered for the last 10 minutes or so, so that that sauce can thicken a bit. Yeah, I'm winging it. Going off book now. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Anyway, okay. <laughs> This looks incredible now. Oh, it really does. Oh, man. I think we're good. So yeah. we can try and remove our cinnamon stick. Yeah, you can suck on it like a... I'm sure you can. It'll be full of flavours. I'll put it on your plate. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> oh, lovely. Chicken daub. Chicken daub. Smells incredible. The combinations of the thyme and the garlic with the ginger and the chili and the cinnamon. Ah. Right. How beautiful basmati. Of course, we're going to try a plate like the restaurants, do you? <laughs> this comfort food. Image. Ooh. Voila. Transfer your little onto the top of it. Oh, how awesome is that! <laughs> Not how the restaurants do. <laughs> they don't have cinnamon sticks. <laughs> okay, let's get some of that chicken potatoes. This one's mine, it's got the cinnamon sticks, so you like to put extra. Mm, of course. More potatoes. And that gravy. Oh, yes. Get that gravy going around there. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> mm, man. Oh, man, that looks so good. And then I'm going to put some. Dot a bit of cucumber around. <laughs> ah, you know, because that's what you do. Yeah, because we've got some coleslaw, so. A little bit of cabbage and carrot cold slaw. Salad. Salad. Mm. <laughs> I'll lift the camera so we can't see that. But <laughs> <laughs> and final touches. Try to get it not sticking to the scissors. Yeah, that's a losing <laughs> battle. <gasps> Look Doesn't at that! Look incredible. It really does. Man. Oh man, I would be happy if I got that. Oh, me too. Except wow. the plate is a little bit full. <laughs> I'll beat the whole thing. <laughs> oh man. Now that is bad weather food. Actually, any weather food. That is any weather food. Mm. Oh man, I got a spoon because I want to get this juices. So I'm going to get a little bit of potato, a little bit of chicken, a lot of sauce. You see there, right? But I'm gonna crack some of the mm, the rice, the rice, and try get it. Oh, don't stop escaping, guys! Stop escaping! <laughs> I want to get some more of the sauce because it's all about the sauce, in my opinion. Oh man, my mouth is watering so much, Rick. So is mine. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. Mm. Good. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh man. The chicken is so soft. I mean it is soft. Full of flavor. Potatoes. They never work well like this, but they work, they work. <laughs> but I tell you what. Don't mind the wind raging behind. That's why <laughs> we made this food. <laughs> this. It's the sauce. the sauce. The sauce is so good. It is so so good. I kid you not. Yeah, that that thyme and ginger and garlic. And, and that cinnamon. coriander and cinnamon, oh, yes, there's cinnamon in there, but that sauce, oh wow. Mm. Awesome. I got my treat. <laughs> it's a cinnamon stick. I'm not sure if you can just suck on it, but... I think so. Why not? Oh, it's so cinnamony. Ah, and a little other, so you can occasionally mm. just lick your cinnamon stick. What's weird is it has a bit of licorice flavor. How is that possible? Maybe cinnamon's like slightly licorice -y. Or maybe I've always been confused cinnamon and licorice. <laughs> I don't know, really. I don't know, but I kind of like it. I kind of like... Well, you got to eat it with the cinnamon stick. Oh, sure, why not? Oh, wow. 
It does add an extra dimension because the cinnamon stick is still strongly flavoured. Oh awesome. man! Awesome. <laughs> I like that. Top I'm going to give that a go. Use it like a spoon. Don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. Put your chicken on it and and <laughs> wait for it. Uh huh. Mmm. Mmm. Dob. Eat it off cinnamon. Get bigger. <laughs> get a bigger cinnamon. <laughs> Oh man, I want to try, give that a try. I can't eat after I've just been cooking, so I'm just going to try a bit of bright. And then I will have some later. So get a bit of that chicken first. Mmm, chicken good. And the potatoes. Oh, lovely. A yeah, nice oh, colour on that the outside. Sauce. I mean, without the potatoes and the chicken, I think it would be a lot of chilli. <laughs> All of it together, perfect. Exactly, you understood me. <laughs> Let me try, try the cinnamon, cinnamon stick, thing. yes. Just right. get a bit of the sauce. sauce. Just On the like cinnamon that, stick. Mmm. Yeah. I don't really taste anything. Oh. I can smell the cinnamon. I must have oh, sucked yeah. it all. No, no, it is there. I think I'm just really used to cinnamon. Oh, but it enhances the chili. Wow. Mmm. 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 Exotic and delicious. I love this. Chicken door, but it's so nice. Oh, yeah. Well, if I see this out and you don't see it often, you only see it some places, I will definitely get it. Mmm. 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 I'm truly shocked that that putting the raw chicken into the sauce and the potatoes actually cooked them perfectly. It is, it's fantastic and it really is um, well, well I'm cooked. I'm really, really surprised by that, but I'm nice. going to tell you something weird. I think I prefer this over a chicken curry. Mm. And I'm not sure, but I think maybe even a rigai. I just it's love similar the Similar to a rigai. It is, but it's that similar. But cinnamon, who would think that a donut ingredient... Donut? <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. But it works, guys. Trust me. Mm. It's really mm. great. It's nice if you sniff it as well. Don't chew this. In. <laughs> well, this is the beautiful Ricky. Eating as it on the chicken daub. <laughs> <laughs> it's not lunch until it ends up all over you. Ah, it exploded. <laughs> I don't think the white wine would enhance it at all. Mm. But you know what, a little bit of red wine, maybe? Yeah, a maybe. Bit, like more like a bolignon, bolignon, bolignon. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. you could make it like a lamb door. Yeah, you can. We the just did the flavor. chicken. Yeah, you're supposed to use a red wine if you put uh, um, red meat. Oh, so if you're doing red meat. You can meat. make a beef daub. Oh, so a beef or a lamb daub, you're using mm, the red it's wine. It's basically a stew. Maybe the fish and the chicken could go with the, the white wine, but I don't think the white wine adds uh, anything to I think as soon this. as you throw that um, tomato. Mm. You're talking red. <laughs> <laughs> and the garlic, of course. Oh, wow. Chicken daub. One of my new faves. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Da -da. There's, a There's a cyclone on. We better go back. <laughs>